Caroline of Brunswick. Caroline of Brunswick, Wolfenbuttel, Caroline Amelia Elizabeth. Born on the May 17, 1768, die on the August 7, 1821. Was Queen of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland and Queen of Hanover from January 29, 1820 until her death. The estranged wife of George IV, she was Princess of Wales from 1795 to 1820. The daughter of Charles William Ferdinand, Duke of Brunswick, and Princess Augusta of Great Britain, Caroline was engaged in 1794 to her cousin George, Prince of Wales, whom she had never met. He was already illegally married to Maria Fitzherbert. George and Caroline married the following year but separated shortly after the birth of their only child, Princess Charlotte, in 1796. By 1806, rumors that Caroline had taken lovers and had an illegitimate child led to an investigation into her private life. The dignitaries who led the investigation concluded that there was no foundation to the rumors, but Caroline's access to her daughter was still restricted. In 1814, Caroline moved to Italy, where she employed Bartolomeo Pergami as a servant. Pergami soon became Caroline's closest companion, and it was widely assumed that they were lovers. In 1817, Caroline was devastated when Charlotte died in childbirth. She heard the news from a passing courier as George had refused to write and tell her. He was determined to divorce Caroline and set up a second investigation to collect evidence of her adultery. In January 1820, George became King of the United Kingdom and Hanover and Caroline nominally became Queen Consort. George insisted on a divorce from Caroline, which she refused. A legal divorce was possible but difficult to obtain. Caroline returned to Britain to assert her position as queen. She was wildly popular with the British people who sympathized with her and despised the new king for his immoral behavior. On the basis of the loose evidence collected against her, George attempted to divorce Caroline by introducing the Pains and Penalties Bill 1820 to Parliament. But he and the bill were so unpopular and Caroline so popular with the masses that it was withdrawn by the Liverpool Ministry. The king barred Caroline from his coronation in July 1821. She fell ill in London and died three weeks later. Her funeral procession passed through London on its way to her native Brunswick, where she was buried. The night following Caroline's failed attempt to attend her husband's coronation, she fell ill and took a large dose of milk of magnesia and some drops of laudanum. Over the next three weeks, she suffered more and more pain as her condition deteriorated. She realized she was nearing death and put her affairs in order. Her papers, letters, memoirs, and notebooks were burned. She wrote a new will and settled her funeral arrangements. She was to be buried in her native Brunswick in a tomb bearing the inscription, Here Lies Caroline, the Injured Queen of England. She died at Brandenburg House in Hammersmith at 10.25 p.m. M. on August 7, 1821 at the age of 53. Her physicians thought she had an intestinal obstruction, but she may have had cancer. And there were rumors at the time that she had been poisoned. Afraid that a procession of the funeral beer through London could spark public unrest, Lord Liverpool decided the Queen's cortege would avoid the city, passing to the north on the way to Harwich and Brunswick. The crowd accompanying the procession was incensed and blocked the intended route with barricades to force a new route through Westminster and London. The scene soon descended into chaos, the soldiers forming the honor guard opened fire and rode through the crowd with drawn sabers. People in the crowd threw cobblestones and bricks at the soldiers, and two members of the public, Richard Honey, a carpenter, and George Francis, a bricklayer, were killed. Eventually, Chief Metropolitan Magistrate Sir Robert Baker ordered that the official route be abandoned and the cortege pass through the city. As a result, Baker was dismissed from office. The final route, in heavy rain, took the following course, Hammersmith, Kensington, Kensington Gore, Hyde Park, Park Lane, returned to Hyde Park where soldiers forced the gates open, Cumberland Gate, Edgware Road, Tottenham Court Road, Drury Lane, The Strand, and from there through the City of London, then by way of Romford and Chelmsford to Colchester. The coffin was kept overnight at St. Peter's Church, Colchester, where Caroline's executors tried unsuccessfully to replace the official inscription plate with one including the phrase, Injured Queen of England. The next day, the coffin was taken to the seaport of Harwich and placed on a ship bound for Germany. Brunswick Cathedral is Caroline's final resting place. Thanks for watching her story channel. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe our channel.